Kia ora, I'm Shiri Kinnear and welcome into today's COVID-19 update. New Zealand recorded another one of its lowest daily case numbers with just 98 new cases of COVID-19 in the community today. Of those cases, 74 were in Auckland, 10 in Waikato, 8 in Bay of Plenty and 1 in Taranaki and 5 were in Nelson, Marlborough. 66 people were reported in hospital with the virus and 7 in ICU. There was also two new cases in Northland and two in Kaitaia, which fell outside of the official reporting cutoff period, so those figures will be included in tomorrow's daily count. One of today's new Waikato cases has been formally linked to previous cases and the remainder are under investigation, while all eight of the new Bay of Plenty cases have been linked. In Nelson, Tasman, there is one new case in addition to the four cases announced yesterday. The new case is linked to a known school exposure event. There are now 20 active cases in the Nelson area and investigations into the source of infections are ongoing. In Auckland, there were 3,200 people self-isolating at home, including 843 cases. Across the country, 93% of eligible Kiwis have had their first dose of the vaccine, and 88% are now fully vaccinated. Meanwhile, more details have been released around Northland border checks this summer. Checkpoints will be set up to ascertain if Aucklanders and other visitors are double vaccinated or have proof of a negative test. Police and Tai Tokoro border control volunteers will be at checkpoints on State Highway 1 when the Auckland border restrictions change next week. In the far north, only 69.6% .6 of eligible people have received their first dose of the vaccine, while in other parts of Northland, barely half were fully vaccinated. And that's today's COVID-19 news. For more on this and the latest news, head to nzherald.co.nz. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. To stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald, click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here. And head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.